guys, it's Moto7 here. We're starting off on a beautiful sunshiny day two here up at Parrish Ranch, so let's get to it. Alright, welcome to the 2018 Quadrathon Tournament. This tournament consists of four games, and those are called Bocce, Cornhole, Croquet, and Ladder Ball. Competing in this tournament will be 12 teams, each with two players in it. And as always, every time we post the scoreboard, we will keep you updated on every team, where they're standing, as well as who's going against who in the next events. So, here's the quick look at who's going up first. So uh, in Bocce, we have one uh, team 1 versus team 2, also team 9 versus team 10. In Cornhole, which we'll be seeing first, we got team 5 versus team 6. In Croquet, we got team 7 versus team 8, as well as team 11 versus team 12. And lastly, we got Ladder Ball with team 3 versus team 4. So, here we go on with the first round to some Cornhole. So here's the standings after that first round. We got Team 9 in first place with 27 points. 
We have team three in second place with 26 points, and team six in third place with 25 points so far. And then coming up, we're gonna be going on to some ladder ball, but to update you on who everybody is going against, we got team seven versus team five on Bachi. We got eight, team eight versus team 11, as well as team four versus team 12 on Cornhole. And then we have team two versus team three on Croquet. And lastly, team six versus team 10 on Ladder Ball and Team 1 versus Team 9 on that as well. So, on with the next round. So after that second round, here's the standings. And currently we have Team 1 in first place with 50 points, Team 7 in second place with 48 points, and Team 8 in third place also with 48 points. Getting a little intense now, we got multiple teams tied in the top three spots, but it should be a good one. So now we're getting ready to move on to some croquet, but as always, we have Team 4 versus Team 8 on Bachi, uh, Team 3 versus Team 10, as well as Team 1 versus Team 7 on Cornhole, and then we have Team 6 versus Team 9 on Croquet, and then we have Team 2 versus Team 5, as well as Team 11 versus Team 12 on Ladder Ball. So, on with the next round. Oh, it is so slow! Yeah. 
is, it is really slow. It's thick. Oh my gosh, it's slow. Okay. Give it some go. So we're, that's one, two. Yep. There's three. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was hit this. Yeah. Oh yeah. Three. This stuff's pretty okay, thick. Stuff. Okay. Oh, almost. Number five for you, Wilma. There. Good shot. Not bad, not bad. Yep. It's, it's there. Not bad. Not bad. All right, right here. Okay, but she's got a good angle now. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Not bad. You still got that shot in there. Yep. Okay, nice. 28 through there. Yep. Alrighty, so after the third round, here's the standings. We currently have Team 7 still in the lead with 75 points. Uh, team 8 in second place also with 75 points. Team 3 in third place with 71 points. Now we're heading our way to the final round, which will be Bocce. But as always, here's who's going against who on everything. So. Team 3 versus Team 11, as well as Team 12 versus Team 6 on Machi. And then Team 2 versus Team 9 on Cornhole. We got Team 1 versus Team 4, as well as Team 5 versus Team 10 on Croquet. And lastly, Team 7 versus Team 8 in Ladder Ball. So here we go, on to the final round.
Yeah. Now it's gone. It didn't come out, it didn't come out. Oh, that might be good. Which, that might be good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got it. It didn't break. Alrighty guys, so after the final round, you got, as you guys heard, Team 7 has won the tournament with 100 points, Team 3 came in 2nd with 83 points, and Team 6 came in 3rd with 82 points. And then for those who are curious, here's the rest of the standings. Great job guys, great effort, it was very fun, and we'll see you guys next year, but as of right now, this was the 2018 Quadraton Tournament. Thank you guys for watching. Alright guys, so it is time to pack it up and head on home. Unfortunately, yeah, it was fast and we gotta go, but it's definitely a fun trip. I, I love coming here, it's great. But we got many other dates planned for us to come here, so don't you worry. We're gonna be back on the 22nd, so stay tuned for that guys. But anyway, I'll see you guys back at home. Alright guys, we're back home nice and clean, showered up and everything, it feels nice. Um, and like I said, unfortunately the trip is over, but don't worry, we're going back up June 22nd, the week of that, weekend of that, and the weekend of July the 4th, so, and much more. There's many other dates where we're going to be planned to go back up there and do a lot more fun things and whatnot. And then, another thing about that quick display disclaimer I put at the beginning of the series about not being able to do the movie and whatnot. I am very sorry about that again. Um, I just, yeah, I didn't have too many camera. I only had this camera and I didn't have very many people involved in airsoft guns and props. Yeah, I, just, I didn't have enough. I wasn't really prepared for it. So, apologies for that. But don't worry. Uh, by next year, maybe I'll have some money saved up or something like that and buy some more stuff, some drones, cameras, more props and get more people involved just to make it better yeah. but anyway I still enjoy going camping there I hope you guys enjoyed that because that place is really nice the guy who owns it uh, Terry he does a very good job and he likes us a lot so he's very flexible with his scheduling yeah we, he's a very nice guy we like him a lot so 
props to him for that. But um, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that trip because it was very fun. And we will be going back for some more, so don't worry. I hope you guys enjoyed this series of this camping as well as this first series from my vlogs. And this is Moto7 here, signing off.